God bless America. 4th of July 2002, review of WWE Smackdown. We kick off with America the Beautiful, Lillian Garcia, America. Even though it's the Canadian version, but why am I doing that? Dream. He's just a working man. But he's doing deeds. Oh, hold on, you can, <laughs> you can tell though this was a, a very American-esque Smackdown. Aye. I mean, you Tory Wilson sporting the, the American bikini, you'd, the real American winning title belts, and you two American heroes in the main event I was, for the world title. I, I mean, was. It was just who like, do you want to be in the trenches with? Um, and, or that little bastard. And and they got the Canadians in the first segment out of there. It was like, right, we're gonna get we're gonna get rid of these filthy Canadians, and eh, and we'll, but then we'll, we'll give you we'll give you a full show of Americans. That's kind of what they've done. No, this was good though. Well, that's good, very good. This was good because we didn't get anything like this. This is because like, you know what? This is massive heat. I feel like if they did it now, I mean, most people in America hate America, so it wouldn't really work. But we get Storm, Christian, and Test, Buddy of America. They talk about the Korean War, the Vietnam War, Iraq, 9 11, how they blame everyone for 9 11. They're burying George Bush. And obviously, this is a point like where 9 11's not long happened. Yeah, it's still fresh like, in the like winds. Nine like. months ago? McMahon doesn't care. McMahon, <laughs> fuck it, 9-11. Nine months ago, McMahon's calling out 9-11, saying he's going to bury all the Taliban's because they're jabronis. And now, nine months later, it's a fucking storyline, brother. Basically, stating that America start all these wars. But sure, it's just, he did the same with Slaughter. He said Slaughter joined the... What was that group called? The uh, Cheeks? Uh, he joined them and... Sergeant Slaughter ha- had to get security guards every arena in case he was shot. Yeah, but that's fucking great. That, that, that's heat. That is great. Uh, that's that's when wrestling, albeit we didn't really watch back then. Well, you were only born, and I don't think I was either. But the uh. point, point is, right, the 80s might not be... The f- my favourite era of wrestling is obviously the Attitude Era and Ruthless Aggression. There might, might be some bias because that is when I was alive. But, like, you can't deny that, like, the 80s did have tough men and it, it, it did have, like, fucking... It was just, like, that real factor to it. No, it did, it, yeah. Big tough bastards, and I know I, as much as I think it was a weird, not my cup of tea error, I still, still thoroughly think it's. I'd still rather watch it than today. Some elements today I prefer, right? I do, but it doesn't change the fact it was better. There's not many. Though, no, 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 there's not many. Like I feel like from a presentation point of view, even though it is very fake these days, I would like back then, man. It was like when you watch Mania one and two, it's like what the fuck are we watching this on a toaster? But. Uh. Still, point still, point Watching still. Mania 1 and 2 is like watching Rocky 1 if only it was made like in 1930s. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Gotta do what I gotta do. Anyway, yeah. talking about an American hero, in steps Rikishi. He is taking on Lance Storm here to defend America's honour. The Samoans defending America. But, of course, those wee pesky Canadians cost Rikishi the match and Lance Storm defeats Rikishi big upset Lance Storm's on a roll <laughs> Lance Storm's the man this is easily Lance Storm's best run of his career absolutely no two eyes about it it is I totally agree and it's, it's no, strange I mean, uh, though because in WCW he held like six belts at one time like, but yeah I totally agree this man, is... a year ago he came in and he hit the spinning uh, leg drop to make his debut and I felt like a big deal but after that he was just kind of a bum in the alliance Austin burying him now I think a year from now Austin's going to be sleeping on the stage with a pillow calling Lance Storm Boren so it's going to nosedive again but... enjoy your little run Lance <laughs> well last exactly but Big John's about to enter the uh, McMahon's locker room and Stacey... well was Big John really called Big John at this stage more right. like Wee John Wee John in the green shorts Wee Johnny He's about to enter the locker room, but then Stacey Kilber wishes him good luck for his match tonight. But who's he facing tonight? I guess we'll find out soon, because it's Devon and Batista against Orton and Big Fal Boske. And you know what? This match, it was a good wee showcase of well, who, who's up and coming. Even at this point, you can just tell. Maybe not with Orton, but I think with Batista, you could tell they've unearthed a, a gem here. Batista's he's fucking ripped. He comes out with a chain. You and feel it, like this it, guy could kill somebody. It's the impact of his moves as well. Like, see when he hits the spine buster, like, you feel like he's killing them. No, 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 the only thing I've got with Batista, I think it would just been better if he was actually young at this point, rather than... Like, he still moves, but it would have added, like, another 10 years to his career. Yeah, he, he was a late bloomer, like, well... A late bloomer. I mean, he, he debuted here at, what, like, 31? Yeah, Which but ain't you, exactly... Is, I think, see, young Batista, I think his, his offense is kind of, like, Goldberg-esque, in my opinion. It's like every movie does is like impactful. Yeah, 
no, and, and looks fucking solid. Kind yeah. of like Goldberg when Goldberg hit, you no, know, like the Jack Cam or the spear, or you know the one where he's got it living in the gorilla press. Batista's slam and prime he, is definitely like from when he debuts up to like two thousand and seven. I feel like after like two thousand. I feel I feel even by the time Batista left Evolution, from an in ring standpoint, I don't think he was as good. No, yeah, he wasn't, but I feel like the latter years, like 20, 2008 up to like 2010, he was sh- not, sh- I wouldn't say shit like, but. I mean, look at that mark here. He'd lost about a step or two. Aye, that was, that was a push. I mean, that was. I don't know how much roids he's on here, but Batista, of course, wins this match. Massive spine buster to Randy Orton, and the Deacon, Devon, has won. We cut to McMahon's office. Jericho's in there complaining, because what else would he do other than complain? McMahon's like, shut up, man. You're Canadian. And then Big John enters. Big John, but he's wee match John. And this is weird because Jericho basically refuses to shake Cena's hand, so Cena just slaps him. And I don't know, it's like, you know, I just see slapping as a very, like, feminine thing. And is it not just a bit weak that Jericho just takes this and doesn't do anything? Well, he kind of falls, and by the time he gets up, Cena's away. I know, so Cena's horses went. Cena's, but Cena's bottled it, Cena's bailed. Like, Jer- M- McMahon's looking at him here like, you're a worthless piece of fucking dog meat, mate. <laughs> It was like you a, were undisputed champion. It was like a hit, a hit and run, but instead of Cena running them over in a car, he slapped them and then ran away. <laughs> it's a bit weird. It was a bit weird. We cut backstage again. Cut Angle. I mean, look at this man. You're just getting Hall of Famers left, right, and center. Cut Angle's cutting a promo. He says, "Yes, Fourth of July, the generic American stuff, right? Yes, I may be bald, but guess what? I beat John Cena, and Jericho's going to have a tough task against him. But I'm going to bring home the gold. I'm Olympic gold medalist. I'm going to bring home the gold tonight. Will he beat Undertaker, though? Predictions. Oh, could like Kurt Angle, real American hero there. I mean, I, I, I'm not. I'm not saying Angle's been portrayed as a joke recently, but he has lost a few the edge. And Edge, I mean, Edge has been booked strong, but I wouldn't. Edge is nowhere near a main event level at this stage. Well, Taker is so realistically. I would not give Angle a hope in hell of winning the title going into tonight. Or is that too extreme? I don't know. Never since he, he lost his hair, he's... He's, he's a new mate. Well, since he lost the wig. Not probably. Since he lost the wig. and it, it, It's weird, because he doesn't look like Kurt Angle. He still looks like Kurt Angle with, with the hair. Even though he's got no hair. But anyway, Billy and Chuck are backstage. They're preparing for Hulk you Hogan. You look so gay to me down. Down, I think they know here that they're going to lose the titles and uh, guess what, they're not fucking wrong they start eating these snacks Rico comes in and says here, this is going to ruin your physique you need to uh, drop the snacks and just start performing if you're going to beat the Hulkster and if Billy and Chuck beat Edge and Hogan I mean Edge at this point's red hot this would not have been good no. for their career but of course, you know Hogan, as we said 4th of July Don't work for me, brother He's never going to lose this match no. Never. And guess what? They do win. Don't think it matters what day this happens on. Like, this could happen with fucking Hogan's funeral. <laughs> the day of his death. Like, I don't think he'd be... In the jo- casket still. I don't think he'd be jobbing it to... Um, but you know what? It was actually to... a good match. You know what? See, every crowd Hogan comes out, man. The crowd is alive for him. There's not one spot in this match where the crowd's deed. Seeing wrestling today, man, it's like deed for the whole fucking match. Seeing this, like, the crowd's constantly going mental. No, but see, Waiting on the hot tag. See, see, no, it's like, you're just waiting on the show to end. See, when you see these people, though, on Twitter, right, and they're like, oh, this error sucked, it was overrated, oh, these people got booked, Black Austin took his ball, and like, oh, 2002, did, 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 it just proves that they haven't watched it, right, or they can't remember, because seeing you watch the crowd, there's not a show that's booing anything, really. And how often is the crowd that deed? Exactly. Crowd deed all the time in real life? I, oh, these people, man, they, they, honestly, the... Because, like, you've literally got an audience each week of, like, 15,000 going off their tits compared to now where, all right, there'll, there'll be a couple of flippy moves and they'll chant, this is awesome, and then you'll just hear crickets. That's all you'll hear. Crickets. Crickets. Big crickets. But Hogan wins. They get the American flag in the ring, and uh, I am uh, looking forward to this tag team title run of Edge and, Edge and Hogan. Don't really know where it's going to end. Don't know, actually, who they lose. Who, who, who do you think they'll lose it to? Three-minute warning? Do they carry it that long? They might carry that long. I think they're going to lose it to the Un- I think they're going to lose it to the Americans. I actually think they do lose it to the Americans, don't they? Lance Storm, Christian, Christian. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that'd be my, that's where my money would be. But of course, we have Jericho against John Cena next to me. Jericho is giving Cena the rub here. Cena looking strong for like the second week in a row, man. I mean, 
He's getting matches against Angle and Jericho. You can't say that doesn't help. Of course it does. It fucking helps big time. But Jericho, of course, wins. He goes to shake Cena's hand. Well, Cena goes to shake his hand, and Jericho gets hit with the prototype, I believe it was called at this time. Was it called the prototype? Cena's finishing move? I think so. I think it was, and then Jericho rolls out the ring after getting battered. So Cena looks strong in defeat. We have a Rey Mysterio's coming to WWE thing yet. And I'm surprised that I'm not. I'm surprised they're advertising this. I'm surprised that they just didn't let him debut. But again, I guess they like like to build it up because they didn't really do it with the NWO either. They kind of just say here the NWO's coming. McMahon spun around and NWO spray paint on a mirror. Don't think he's going to do that for Ray though, is he? True. Probably not. But Jimmy Noble has bought a trailer, and it just shows you Jimmy Noble and Neddy here get about like two ten fucking minutes. jobbers. Yeah, ten they're, minutes. You've got a gimmick, and it, it does. I know you don't really like these two, but. I thought this was good. Fucking trailer park trash. No, they're all right. Like, he's, I mean, he's, uh, he's just won the cruiserweight title and he's fucking spending all his money on a trailer. <laughs> I, thought it, I thought it was great. No, no it, was, it, was, it was a fun segment and you know what? I don't know what it is. I've just never really liked Jamie Noble, but he still is entertaining. I'm Jamie Noble. I think it's more the fact when he was like the authority. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. The authority. How can you be the authority in five foot two? It doesn't make much sense. <laughs> To be a authority figure, just you need to be kind of like large and imposing. Yeah, I know it, it really doesn't make any sense. But next up, we have Brian Panty's match. Of course, Tori Wilson won some event that the King was presenting that we've seen. What was it called? The best body of the year or something? King was going off his fucking tits at this. So basically, she's coming out showing off this trophy. But it was it they showed it on SmackDown, didn't they? Yeah, they showed it on SmackDown. Stacey Keebler got interviewed, and she basically thought that she was robbed, that they made the wrong decision, and it should have been her. That had a one. So that's why this, they had this, this match feud. tonight. So yeah, State of Keebler, Tory Wilson. It was an absolute instant classic, this match, wasn't it? Five Probably. stars. Five stars. Breaks the melts are fucking... They're coming up with the well, stars see, and stripes. M- M- melts are might have rated at five stars, but as soon as he found out it was two hot women, he closed his eyes the entire match yeah. and he didn't get to see it. He, so. just, he just imagined Okada and Omega. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, who knows? Melts are might have gave it five stars, but... As soon as he heard Bram panties and Stacey Keeble in the same sentence, he's like, oh shit, get those eyes super glued shut. So who knows what Meltzer would have gave this, but uh, Tory Wilson wins. And then it's weird because like, you know, when the, when the heel gets her clothes taken off, she kind of, she like tries to cover up, but then Tory Wilson wins. And it's like, she wants to send home the American fans happy. So she just takes her clothes off anyway, but it's like a weird dynamic. Aye, so. Where like, it has to be the face that wins because if Stacey Keebler wins, she's not going to, Show the crowd. Ah, exactly. So the face has to win. But, but it's kind of weird. Like, but then again, she might have. Who knows? Would she? Maybe the show she had the best body. True. I just I think it works better the way it happened. It could have, but... Tor- well, you don't think it did? Well, no, it did, but... I think it makes more sense Tory Wilson winning. Well, it does, but she's I think like it the, still could have worked. She's like the face, and she's like, ah, I'll give you guys two for the price of one. Well, talking to a guy... Buy one, get one free. Talking to a guy that's not going to strip, it is The Undertaker, and I actually feel like this could is be one of promo. his better, better his promos. He says, who do you want to be in the Fox trenches with? Do you want to be with an American so-called hero or the American badass? And that's like, <laughs> fucking, he sold me. Kurt, you know what? I don't care what hype I put into you going into this match. I want the dead man. I imagine watch. that you're in the trenches, right? And you, 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 you went into the trenches with 100 including yourself, and 98 have fallen, and you're sitting there, you're taking heavy fire, right? Do you want to turn around and see The Undertaker, the American badass, or do you want to turn around, right, and see some fucking transgender person with blue hair debating whether today they're feeling like she, they, or them? I mean, <laughs> I mean like, come on. I want to feel like the undisputed champion. You want, you want Taker? Do you want Taker sitting there just like, you know... Drinking fucking beer and squishing up his cans and just tossing it and letting out a big burp and picking up his rifle? Or do you want to turn around and see bald headed Kurt Angle sipping on some milk? I mean, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Kurt's still the man, though. And yeah. You know what? I thought he looked really strong in this match. He had Taker's number. He did, aye. Because it's weird because they're both heels. Who would you say is more heel? <laughs> oh, God. See, I don't know. Taker's I'd, more. Portray- I, I, I actually think Taker's being portrayed more as the chicken shit guy. Not in the promo, but kind of as this entire uh, reign. He's kind of been like, oh, Vince, I don't want really to face him. Not true. But, but I mean, Kurt's kind of in that. But ever since his head's got shaved, he's kind of went on a rampage. So. I, don't, I don't feel like they're both really heels. I think like they're. To me, at the moment, they strike me more as like tweeners, aye. but leaning towards the heels. Once side. the rock comes back, they'll both be oh, heels. I, 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 I. But they both kind of strike me as like somewhere in between tweener and heel. 
They're definitely on the heel side, like, but I don't think they don't strike me as like you know big time heels. Or, yeah, but we have Angle slams. You cut Angle basically kind of showing a bit of respect to Cena. You'd Undertaker showing a bit of respect to Jeff Hardy. So, well, yeah, ex- exactly. But we have choke slams, Angle slams, all kickouts. Good match. But then we get the ending where Kurt Angle walks Taker in a triangle chokehold, so basically the Hell's Gate that he would use a couple of years later. And then the ref counts to three as Undertaker taps it. We'll, we'll say three. So Undertaker's actually tapped here. Yeah, Undertaker's tapped for the first time in his career, maybe? Or did Angle make him tap before? I think Angle made him tap before. He might have. During the invasion. I think he might have, yeah. And I think he made Kane tap as well. Your triangle uh, makes a lot of people tap. Yeah, so... Well, we, like you say, it's tap, Jimmy Rotunda. Tap or snap. We've got Jimmy Rotunda coming out. We've got uh, Mike Chioda with other people. Right, now, Cole and Taz are arguing over who won. Now, Michael Cole turns around and said something along the lines of, it doesn't matter about if Taker tapped it first. The pinfall has to take precedent. It's like... Well, so what's the point of the submission then? <laughs> I mean, who gives a shit? <laughs> who gives a shit if Taker got the pin if he tapped it a second before the free count that's fucking irrelevant and then Taz is like well, I, well where I come from Michael Cole if, if you tap out you admit you, you're admitting you lost the match I definitely I'd side more with Taz here but that's because Taz has got a submission finish uh, no, Mike, what's, Michael, Michael, what's Michael and, Cole got <laughs> fucking the coal miner box no but, <laughs> remember that time Channel Lord pulled his tag that was fucking great <laughs> no but like <laughs> I can see where they're both coming, but I like the way Taz was standing up for the submission. Yeah, no, I, and he has a submission wrestling. That's, that's, that's really I, makes like, sense. I, I like that though. But then Mike Shoulder grabs the mic and says, "Well, you know, he, he doesn't grab it. He tells Tony Chimmel here, this is a draw.' Oh, but again, but it doesn't. If Cole's wrong here, saying that the pinfall takes priority. That's bullshit. It's, it's whatever one happens first. I can maybe get his logic right if he said it takes priority because they happened at the same time. But the, he but then, he ta- actually openly admit the submission took place before. No, but is Taz not? Could Taz not say if if it happens at the same time? He thinks that the, the tap out should take priority because you're admitting you lost. You're ta- you're giving up. Uh, maybe Fence is screaming in their he- headsets. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> it's <laughs> Mike Chioda. Do you think they're, you think they're both confused? Paul's fucking um, McMahon screaming and they don't know what they're doing and that, that could be it like I mean that could be it but I don't know right this is obviously going to set up the triple threat match at Vengeance with The Rock so I'm all for this ending even if the fans were like what the hell's going one on one referee raises Angle's hand and fucking take her chasing them at the ring chasing them at the trenches man but anyway I, uh, yeah Kurt Angle then basically batters Taker then rolls at the ring fuming um, and Taker's like looking at him as this goes off the air and you know what a good smackdown. Very good smackdown. I, I enjoyed wouldn't say, it. I wouldn't say it was anything bad. Nope, it was I amazing. wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was overly fucking anything amazing. Yeah. But I thought it was great all around. I'm gonna get an eight out of ten. I'm getting an eight out of ten as well. And that is it, guys. Till the top five moments, we are edging closer to Fenchance and guess what? A certain man by the name of Dwayne. Big Dwayne. Here. I'll be here next week. So until next time. So do we have before we leave actually, was Dwayne's return at the pay per view not one of the Weirdest. Uh, I just kind of that stood. great segment backstage, and then he just stood outside and looked at Taker and Triple H. Like, He'd have been better off waiting in the Booker T Gold. Does well, maybe they don't like wait then. Nah, nah. <laughs> he probably didn't. Anyway, though, till next time, eight out of ten. Peace. <laughs>